Please, people, take note about this, that you can apply this to line thunderstorms and the South African bergwind. Okay, very quickly, let's have a look at the factors that influence the climate of South Africa. Right. Firstly, you must know the, the, the influence of the oceans. Now, matrix this, uh, you've learned from primary school level already. When we started working with atlases, there you learned that we've got the warm Mozambique and the cold Benguela. Right, so here we've got the warm Mozambique, here we've got the cold Benguela, and here as we, as we just touch here on, on Eastern Cape and start to move towards Western Cape, it is called the warm Agalas. So these are your, your, your uh, what you must understand actually, is that you've got warm water here on the Eastern side of South Africa and cold water here on the Western side of South Africa. And these two have a huge influence on the climate of South Africa. Hang on with that, we'll see what happens later on. The second thing that you must know, uh, sorry, a uh, warm and wet climate, and on this side, because you've got a warm water here, it will be warm and wet here, and on this side, it will be, it will be cold and, and dry. Now, okay, the second thing that you must know is your subtropic, uh, uh, subtropical anticyclone. You must know where they are, you must know where they are located, and you must know the names. There are three of them influencing the climate of South Africa. The South Atlantic high pressure, the South Indian high pressure, and the Kalahari high pressure. The Kalahari high pressure uh, is found in the interior, and obviously these two will be found in the oceans. Now, uh, Matrix, you've got to take note about what I'm going to say now. Remember, there's no such thing as the Atlantic high pressure and the Indian high pressure. You are not going to get your mark. Right? If they ask you to identify the high pressure at 1 or A or whatever, and it's in the Atlantic Ocean, the name is the South Atlantic High Pressure. Please don't make a mistake and only say Atlantic High Pressure. You're going to lose unnecessary marks. The same with regard to the South Indian High Pressure. Not the Indian High Pressure, the South Indian High Pressure. Please don't forget that. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So here we've got the Kalahari High Pressure, and here we've got the South Atlantic and the South Indian High Pressure. As we progress, you will see that the South, uh, South Atlantic and the, uh, and the South Indian uh, high pressure, they uh, uh, play a very, very important role when it comes to line thunderstorms, and your Kalahari high pressure plays a very important role when it comes to the SA Bergwind or Bergwind competition. So you must know the role of each of this. We'll have a look at this within the next few minutes. Okay, and the last thing that you must know uh, with regard to the climate factors is the plateau or the interior, which is very high, and uh, because it's high, the higher you go, of course, the colder it will get. Now, Matrix, if you have a look at these factors, uh, now, okay, you must know these factors, but what's much more important is the application of these factors. You must be able to apply these factors. You must know how these stuff work. And if you know how these things work, it's going to be very easy for you to explain the uh, uh, Bergwind conditions, and it's going to be very easy uh, for you to explain line thunderstorms.